Hi there, and thanks for joining us for Stress to the Nines, a daily devotional from First Presbyterian Church of Fort Smith. Good evening. We are halfway through Holy Week. Let's begin. Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. Having loved his own who were in the world, He loved them to the end. Jesus has been passed around um, after his arrest. The Romans want the Jewish authorities to deal with him. They don't want to be involved. And the Jewish authorities say, yes, but we want him put to death. And our laws don't allow that. Uh, So here he is. And so Jesus finds himself in front of um, a governor whose name has lived into infamy uh, because of this day, uh, named Pilate. And Pilate has a few questions for Jesus. So here is toward the end of chapter 18. Pilate entered the headquarters, summoned Jesus, and asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you ask this on your own, or did others tell you about me? And Pilate replied, I'm not a Jew, am I? Your own nation and the chief priests have handed you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not from this world. If my kingdom were from this world, my followers would be fighting to keep me from being handed over to the Jews. But as it is, my kingdom is not from here. Pilate asked him, So you are a king? Jesus answered, You say that I am a king. For this I was born, and for this I came into the world to testify to the truth. Everyone who belongs to the truth listens to my voice. Pilate asked Jesus, what is truth? That question has echoed throughout thousands of years. What is truth, Jesus? What is truth if I am not of your religion? What is truth if I don't understand you? What is truth? if you are not coming with political might. Phil referenced this in his sermon on Sunday, actually for Palm Sunday, how John is the only one of the four gospels who mentions that the people were waving palms as Jesus came into Jerusalem on Sunday. Uh, The rest were waving their their coats and uh, blankets uh, and maybe some branches, but uh, John specifically mentions palms because it was the official symbol of Jewish sovereignty, of Jewish political power. And so they wave him in on Sunday. And by Friday night, uh, it is clear that a political parade is not what was happening, at least for Jesus. Are you king of the Jews, Jesus? And he says, you might call me a king, but I came here to tell the truth. I'm a truth teller. I'm a truth teller. This political um, moniker, name, will be given to Jesus now, from now on, um, in this crucifixion that is soon to come uh, and in his death, King of the Jews, a political title. Um, But Jesus came not for politics. He came not even for this kingdom, it appears. He came for another kingdom. And so it is a good question for us to leave our um, thoughts and our hearts with tonight in our prayer time. Jesus, what is your truth? What is the truth? When I want you to sweep in and I want you to solve the problems here now, I want you to, I want you to fix our political systems. I want you to run the show. And yet you say, you can call me king all you want, but I came to tell the truth. So what is your truth? What is the truth? It's a question that Pilate asks, and it's a question we ask, and it's a question that we are left with on this holy week. Lord, if you didn't come for politics, why did you come? For whom did you come? Let's pray.
Lord, as we walk this week, we want to walk it with flags waving and banners unfurled for you. And yet you seem to be waving a different flag. Your banner is different than we thought. We are not the first to be confused, but help us to be less confused. Help us to open our eyes to your work in this world, to what your power looks like, to what your authority looks like. Help us to better understand and live out in our own lives that you are our Lord. It is in your precious name that we pray. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sin, have mercy on us. Jesus, redeemer of the world, grant us your peace. Amen. I shared with you last night, but I will continue to share with you that starting next week, this podcast will be on its own with no other content on it except for the daily devotions. It will no longer be under the one prez pod that will continue on its own separate path, but it will be stressed to the nines. We will give you lots of opportunities to click uh, either on Facebook or in our weekly email to put yourself over onto that podcast if you would like. And we will start adding these uh, devotions to it starting this week, uh, but then move fully next week. Until we see each other again, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and grant you his peace, now and forevermore. Amen. Thanks for joining us for this episode of Stress to the Nines. You can enjoy this daily devotional five days a week on the church's Facebook page at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m., or continue to enjoy them on any of your favorite podcast platforms. Until the next time, peace.